Hello everybody, uh, this is the video for week two. So um, I'm gonna try to make one of these videos about once a week. Uh, hopefully they don't bother too many people. Um, it's just, you know, a video just to sort of um, semi sort of collect ourselves a little bit uh, and to tell you guys what you guys are about to do for the, you know, the upcoming week and what you should have been doing sort of the previous week, right? Um, not to say that anything's due, right? I mean, most of the stuff is, uh, most of the due dates are soft deadlines. So don't worry about too much if you fall behind a little bit. Just know that you're behind. You have time to catch up, okay? Um, so I just went through um, the orientation quiz and I got some of the answers, uh, or I got some questions for all of you. Uh, from all of you, um, that still was a little, un, uh, you know, uneasy for people. Um, so I want to cover some of the answers for them in the video, okay? Uh, the first one uh, deals with uh, scheduling, sort of like the schedule of the work and the pacing of the due date. So uh, with the exception of the first week where I made you guys do sort of, and, you know, granted that was our re review week, right? Um, with the exception of the first week, we're probably going to be doing about one section sort of every other day. So two sections a week about, right? Um, I have, uh, if you guys looked at the calendar, right, I have everything set up so that I tell you like, you know, on, on Tuesday, uh, watch the lecture and complete the material for section four point whatever, right? So uh, I, I made those things there so that, you know, it'll pop up on your calendar, right? Uh, and then in terms of the pace of the due dates, usually when we cover something, right, um, the things for it, all the assignments for it, uh, quick checks, lecture questions, online homework, all that stuff is going to be due uh, the following week, right? So if you take a look at, for example, uh, today, um, or for this week, you guys are going to be doing uh, section 2.1 and 2.2 2 uh, on Tuesday, tonight, right? Um, all of the stuff for that is going to be due next Tuesday, right? And then the stuff for section 2.3, I believe, is going to be covered on Thursday, right? All of that stuff is going to be due next Thursday, okay? So that's the sort of like the pacing that I like for the class. So if I'm going to give you a day to do sort of all the material or to review all the material for it, and then a week later, the stuff is going to be due, okay? Um, somebody asked um, for... Uh, Pre-calc, calc one refreshers. Um, I mean, uh, uh, YouTube is very good. I mean, you can find people doing pre-calc and calc uh, and calc one problems there all darn day, right? Um, but I'm pretty sure somebody, somebody, uh, some people are looking for something a little bit more hefty. Like, um, I don't know where to go get my stuff. I had, you know, uh, the big concern, you know, I had, I had pre-calc, calc one during um, COVID. Uh, and uh, never really got a textbook and never felt like a real class. So WTF, what's going on? Um, uh, if you guys uh, notice, right, um, nearly the entire course at, at, for this course, Calc 2, uh, I'm, using a, um, I'm using a free textbook uh, from this publisher called OpenStax, right? Um, for this class, for Calc 2, um, uh, they have a volume two, okay? Uh, and it covers everything that a good old traditional Calc 2 class would cover. And it turns out that uh, this same publisher, OpenStax, um, has a pre-calc text, it's massive, and a Calculus 1 uh, textbook, okay? Um, and it also has problems and it has solutions and all that stuff, okay? So if you need a refresher, okay, uh, outside of the textbook that you use for your own course, right? I would suggest the OpenStax. It's free. Uh, there's uh, digital copies um, of everything for them. Um, there's a uh, if you want to read the um, if you want to read the textbook, they have not only a PDF version of it, so you can download it onto a tablet, right? But you can read it like they they copied everything into an online format, so you could just open up the um, a browser and read it that way. Okay. Um, so I think that's it for that. Okay. Um, you can also use your old notes. Okay. Um, uh, somebody else asked about assignment deductions with and without late passes, as in, uh, if you use a late pass, if you use a late pass, uh, will you be deducted points? Will it be reduced score? Uh, and the answer to that is no, mm -mm, not at all. Uh, 
I do expect everyone to finish that. That is like, that is material I expect everyone to finish, right? You are not, uh, you are not competing uh, against anyone else for a grade other than yourself, okay? Um, so the more work you complete, the better. And along that same lines, right? Um, if you need more time with an assignment, then take it, okay? I'd rather have it uh, turned in and entirely correct, right? And it'd be late, maybe, you know, a week, half a week, a week, uh, then you turning it in on time, but sorry for my language, half-assed, okay? Um, just make sure you do the work, okay? This is stuff that is required for you to know to get through Calc 2, okay? Um, and the very last thing, uh, this is this is um, something that uh, that a lot of people have been asking, uh, uh, at least in in uh, in the math lab or in the math tutoring center when I've been there. Like, uh, do you really have to come in? Do you like? Is it an it completely and entirely online class? It is an entirely online class. The only time I will see your face is if you come in, and uh, we talk in uh, the tutoring center. That is it. Okay. Now. If you do need to meet with me, okay, um, I do have uh, office hours that I do um, uh, at the Math Tutoring Center, right? And I do open up my Zoom just in case somebody wants to pop in that way, okay? Those office hours are for you guys as well, okay? And on top of that, um, oh, my office hours, Monday through Thursday, 11.45 to 1, okay? Um, and on top of that, for this class in particular, uh, on Fridays from 10 a.m. to 6 in the afternoon, I'll be online, okay? So I'll just have my Zoom open. No, excuse me. I'll just have my Zoom open. If you uh, have a question, uh, if you really need to work through a problem, uh, come to, to the uh, online Zoom hours on Fridays, and we'll work it out, okay? This is to allow um, people that definitely need, like, some form of contact, right? Uh, this allows that kind of contact sometime during the week, okay? And it doesn't matter where you're at, so long as you can get Zoom working, okay? Um, besides that, I think that's all the questions that I had um, that were of note for everybody to know and answer to. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this week, like I said, you guys are doing uh, section 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 in the textbook, okay? Okay. Um, and then last week, you should have covered basically all of chapter one up to section 1.5, up to um, integration by substitution, okay? Uh, if you have any questions at all, come see me at my office hours uh, or stop by on the Fridays, okay? Uh, besides that, I think I'm done. Uh, any questions, email me, okay? Happy studying.